Hello everyone and welcome back to Rebel Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today we look at how to solve this particular problem. Usually I get this and you may have got this as well many times when you try to synchronize a local file back to central. After all the hard work you've done, Revit doesn't want to save it because of an incorrect schema. Now I'm not into really finding out how that means. But for me, that looks like something we can try to understand if we look at the classical, typical central and local model setup. Essentially, you have a central model there, yeah? And many people, each one with a local file, walking away and synchronizing back to central regularly. If this person, for example, has a very old local file, maybe the file has been there for a week or two or even three, every time he synchronizes or saves to this file, its data structure gets rewritten or modified. And after a long time, that data structure may be uh, invalid just because it gets corrupt, it gets old, and it doesn't get um, understandable by Revit anymore. That's when the incorrect schema error appears. And to fix that problem, we need to essentially recreate this file, create its data structure. And uh, luckily, we can just do that from the application. I will now go to my Revit, obviously. And here, I have my local file. If I go now to synchronize, I will get that message sometimes. And that's what we want to solve. The solution is this. We should go to File now. Choose Save As. A project. And he just save it whenever... Uh, whatever you have your local files usually saved, I'm going to call this one now, maybe local 3. And just save it there. Make sure you don't tick the box to make it a new central model. We are just making a new local model. Save to confirm. It's a tiny file, so that's done now. But if I go to synchronize and try this again, it should go through. That should be, should be successful. Because I have forced Revit to recreate this file in terms of data structure based on whatever it has displayed already on my screen. Whatever is there right now should be valid because now I can see that, yeah? And by doing a save as, I recreate the file structure, allowing it to be able to synchronize again. So that's it to fix this problem. Uh, I hope you find that useful. Have a good day and I'll see everyone in the next video.